hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel i'm annie stacy and if this is your first time stopping by please make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this video because i know you're going to enjoy it so in today's video i just wanted to come here and share with you guys my three days experience on the um, water and prayer fast so yeah that's what this video is all about if there's something you're interested in please make sure you keep watching this video till the end first of all i want to go ahead and talk about what this fast is all about so the water fast is you basically not eating any solid foods just drinking water for a couple of days you could go one day two days three days so people have gone even um 14 or even more i don't know but yeah i just wanted to do this fast this was very extreme for me because i've never done something like this i used to i have I think the highest I've gone without food is 24 hours. So for me to like go three days, it was like amazing, like shocking. But yeah, that's what I did. I went three days without food straight and I just kept drinking water and praying. And the reason I keep saying praying because I did this for spiritual reasons and not just for losing weight. I know some people go a couple of days without food and just water in order to lose weight but I didn't do this for weight loss purposes and that's why I did not take my measurement before or after. If you're here to see any measurements, I didn't take any measurements. So I just wanted to share with you guys my spiritual journey, how I um, took the first like if i'm looking down i have my notes with me so yeah um yeah so i'm just going to share with you guys my experience on these three days and what were the changes or what were my results and all of that so yeah let's move into the second part of this video so why did i do three days of water and prayer fast to answer that question there are a couple of reasons why i decided to do this and i consider this extreme for me so i really wanted to go out of what i've ever done before in my life i really needed like change like to do something that i've never done because of the reasons i'm going to be sharing soon the main reason why i decided to go on a three days water and prayer fast is because i felt like lost i felt like i was alone i felt like i was distanced from god like there are a couple of things that we do that we think that they are not seen like as long as you're not doing like the big sins as we always say then it means that you're okay with god but that was not the case because like even though in my head i'm like okay i'm not doing all these big sins like we always say like there's some sins that we feel like oh it's too big like but there are other little things like like I wake up in the morning, the first thing I'll do is go to my phone. Like I wouldn't even pray. Like my Bible is always by my bed, but I wouldn't open it. Um, I will not even pray. The first thing as I open my eyes, I go straight to my phone. And by the time you know, maybe there's a message there or there's just something that distracts you and all of that. And then maybe you have things to do and then you have to go. Like it just kept happening like i made it a habit and with all this i just kept seeing myself further away from god we don't just understand the impact that these little things that we do have like who goes like for months without praying not studying your bible you're just living on your own i'll actually seek um consolation from my phone or the tv like i wouldn't allow myself to have a quiet time to just think because like i don't know like how to explain this like i need to be distracted constantly either i'm on my phone doing something or watching tv or just something like i just can't lie down or just have a quiet moment it kind of felt like i was afraid to be alone and i just needed all these distractions but i just kept feeling emptier and emptier every day like i felt like so alone and i don't really know how to explain this but yeah like i really felt this time from god it was so hard for me to pray i was like he might not even hear i never really thought this could be something very serious but over time it's something very serious like i lost the interest to pray i lost the interest to study the bible like i said my bible even when i travel i go with my bible but to open it it's a big problem 
what you do daily becomes a habit and you keep practicing it and before you know you're no longer interested in the things of god and all of that and again you know when you feel that emptiness inside and nothing can really satisfy the emptiness i just kept trying to rely on myself i remember just doing a lot of stuff like i was just doing works like i believed that i could do it on my own self-reliance and all of that like i could do this on my own and nothing was working out i just kept feeling like almost like depressed i don't really remember what prompted me to go on the water fast but i know i was planning to fast or to start reading my bible but i will open it and i'm not inspired and i'm like just discouraged i can't even pray but i knew i had to do something so i wanted to do something extreme i've done fasting before even though it's been a very long time that i fasted and i could fast if it's to lose weight or for yeah for weight loss and stuff you just go without food for some hours and all of that but this time around i just wanted to do something different something very different and challenging so i think i came across a video on youtube i cannot remember i just watched a couple of them people talking about how they went on water fast for even 14 days i was like wow so this is possible so i had to pray about it and i was led to go into three days of prayers and fasting so that's when i actually prepared for it cleared every form of food from my house if you came to visit me there was no food nothing like food around yeah because i didn't want to be tempted or anything like that so yeah to conclude on the reason why i did the fast like i said i just wanted to get back on track with god i felt so lost and alone and like i don't even know how to explain that feeling like you can't really explain it to somebody but you just feel lost and empty like there's a part of you missing so yeah and yeah god told me that only he can fill that space so i went on this journey so my reason for doing the three days water fast was just to get back on the right track with God, with praying, studying the word and putting God first and not my phone and other stuff, other little things that we do that we think that they're not very consequential or they, or like I said, are not big sins. Like people think if you're not stealing, you're not fornicating, you're not, um, what are the other big sins? Killing somebody and all of that. So yeah, they feel like, okay, then that's a pass. Yeah, and we all know from the phone's distraction and before you know it, you haven't prayed for the day, you haven't opened the Bible, you haven't spoken to God, you haven't spoken to your father. And yeah, you keep going day one, day two, like months, years pass. And before you know it, you're like lost, like a lost sheep. So yeah, I was so lost, I needed to come back on track. So that's why I did it. So I just want to encourage somebody, if you're like me and you find yourself lost or like alone feeling alone or feeling like you lack something just go to god because he says that if we seek him we will find him so just go to him he's the only one who has the answers to all whatever we are going through so like just go back to him humble yourself and pray and seek the face of god and he's going to hear you and he's going to heal you from whatever you're going through moving on let me talk about my experience on day one like i said i have my jota here where i jotted down everything so i'm just going to be looking at it so i can recall because it's been a while so yeah um on day one i woke up prayed sang like listened to worship music just pray and all of that like all the things you're expected to do when you pray and fast study the word and all of that stuff yeah so that's what i did and i just drank water i can't i didn't count the number you know, um, i didn't count the liters of water that i drank but i drank enough water when i felt like very hungry i'll just read the scripture and pray and i'll just get energy and it's just like you're feeding on the word of god that was it so in the evening i kind of have like the series television series that i watch so before the fast i was like okay i'm going to watch tv um i think that was from six o'clock 
no it was from seven o'clock because i have this i have series all the time but like the ones i'm really interested in so the one i was like okay i'm going to put on my tv at seven o'clock and watch that series so where were we um sorry guys my camera went off so yeah um so on day one like i was saying so i had this television series that i was like okay i'm going to put on my tv at um seven o'clock and then watch that series like i have series to even midnight so i was like okay in the evenings that's my plan i was like planning that in the evening i'm going to just go ahead and watch my series from seven o'clock and then yeah that's it then pray go to bed so on the first day what happened was i watched the first series that's from like 7 to 7 50 or something like that and after that like i couldn't just continue like something kept telling me to stop so i put up the tv i went and prayed and then day two day three came around and i didn't watch any tv during that period even going on my phone i didn't go on my phone that often yeah i really felt convicted that first day not to continue watching the series but to focus on my prayer because if you're fasting you want to make sure that you get the most out of it and not just doing the stuff you used to do especially the fact that i said that i used to like keep myself distracted with tv or my phone like especially at the time i'm fasting you know like when you feel hunger you want to watch stuff that will distract you but instead God was telling me to go and pray and not use those things that I'm trying to get away from to distract myself. On day two, I was very, very hungry, but like I said, I just pray and drink water and just wait on the Lord. Like it wasn't easy. Like I said, day two, I was feeling very weak. So on the night of day two, I had to pray for strength. I prayed for strength because on day three, I had to go to work. I had work on day three so i had to go to work early in the morning and for these days i haven't even said this for these days i like i couldn't sleep you know when you're hungry like for me if you know me personally i have a very bad sleeping habit i never sleep until dawn and if i'm even hungry that's the worst like i couldn't sleep and i had to go to work in the morning on day three so i was just praying for god's strength energy to be able to carry out carry on with the day and all of that just have energy and guess what i didn't sleep like i kind of rested like for one hour woke up that morning went to work and the energy that i had was super like i was at work it was like i shouldn't even come home like she just stayed there the whole day like I was like, where is this energy from? Because I haven't even slept and I'm hungry, I'm feeling weak. I was feeling weak, but at work I was not feeling weak. I was just, I was feeling so normal and like even stronger than somebody that had eaten. So I was like, wow. So the tree was a miracle. So I came back home feeling very excited and all of that, like just feeling renewed and light. And I felt like something was lifted off me. Like I really felt light, like it was a great day. I think the most difficult part was when it came down to me actually breaking my fast, like those, those last three hours or even two hours it was crazy. Like, oh my God, just the thought of you're about to eat, it just made me like crazy. Like if I think about food, it was, oof. Those three hours were like the three days. Just imagine, it was so hard like to wait, you know, that countdown you're going to eat. But yeah, I made it through and I give God the glory. It's not by my strength or by my mind, but it's by the spirit of God. Like I couldn't do it. Even till today, when I think about it, I'm shocked. I'm like, what? So I went three days without having food. Like when I think about it, it amazes me because like, I don't think normally I would have done that, but I know it's all God and I'm so grateful. Um, normally when we go on prayer and fasting, we're obviously praying for something. Like I mentioned, I was praying to get back on track with God, like to just find myself. And I was also praying for other things. My rent was due on the feet of that month so and i didn't at that time i had never raised the money for the rent so i was just like praying and asking god to make a way because like all the plans that i had things didn't work out as planned so like i really needed help and uh, 
The fifth was the last day of my fast, and that was the day my rent was due. So yeah, at 6.29 on the fifth, that's in the evening, I went um, online, yeah, I went online and, she, and I saw a message from one of my customers. She just said hi. When I saw that hi, and I think she had sent it like a long time, but since I'm doing my prayer and fast, I'm not always online. Like she sent it that same day, but maybe in the morning or so, but I saw it that evening. So when I saw hi, she didn't even write anything. I just started thanking God because I knew that something was going to happen. My rents were going to be paid. So I saw the hi before I even replied. I was like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So now I replied hi. She came back now. She was like, um, do you still have those products? She was asking for the inventory and all of that I gave her. She was like, she's going to get a certain amount. And that amount that she said she wanted to get was half the money she was supposed to give me was half of my rent i was like okay in my head i was like okay god i know you're going to provide the rest of the money and then after a while she came back and said no she wants to double the order so she doubled the order we confirmed everything that same evening and then i packaged everything for her she wanted it to be delivered the next day the next day, I woke up very late and she had already paid and even called me. I was like, wow. So like she doubled the amount. So that amount was equal to my rent plus some extra um, cash on it. <coughs> so yeah, I was so grateful. I was like, God never feels like at the last moment, like the last day. And I was like, okay, today is a feat. The rent is not yet concluded like the matter on the rent is not yet concluded god came through and even that morning because if i had gone online that morning i would have seen that message but i just had to wait until six when i went online i saw it so he had already been working on it and yeah that's how i got to pay my rent for that month and that was it like that was a miracle from the first like Oof, I didn't see that order coming like because it's been a long time that this person contacted me so like I wasn't even expecting that kind of order that quantity and all of that like it was a miracle so yeah I want to just encourage somebody God is never late he's always on time like don't give up on him like just keep trusting him and he'll come through for you he'll use whatever means and whatsoever to help you to guide you to show you the right path and to provide for you and all of that just take it to god and not to man first like take it to god and then he is going to look for a solution for you apart from like the financial help and maybe like the physical change i know i lost a couple of pounds even though i didn't check First of all, I wanted to check, even though I said I will not check, I wanted to check, but the battery on my scale died, so I was like, oh, I'm not going to check. So yeah, apart from all the physical changes and the financial help, I'm most grateful for the like change that happened within, like the spiritual change. I just felt lighter, like all my problems were gone, even though there were things I was still praying about but <clears throat> like you know the peace of god which surpasses all understanding yeah i felt so at peace like so like lightweight like my mind was just at peace so like that's what i'm most grateful for yeah the journey was it wasn't easy but it was worth it and will i do this again yes i will do this again so yeah that concludes my three days experience on the prayer and water fasting thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you do please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i'm going to be having more of this kind of videos to come like i'm going to share my testimonies like i'm going to do a testimony tuesday like i'll try as much as possible every tuesday to upload a testimony video of what god has done of or what god had done or what god is doing in my life and all of that yeah so i just wanted to come here and share this to encourage somebody out there i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in my next one stay blessed